Hello friends, welcome to my channel once again. In today's video, we will learn how you can run a scan and find suspicious files or viruses uh, using command prompt. If you have access to uh, Windows, then you can simply open command prompt and run some commands and find suspicious files or viruses and delete them directly from command prompt. Otherwise, if uh, you don't have access to your computer, like if your computer is stuck in a restarting mode or it is not booting into Windows, so you will have to go to advanced options and from uh, recovery environment, you can go to uh, command prompt. But on, in this video, we will be uh, working on Windows because uh, we have access to our computer. You can directly click on start window and look for CMD. And when you have command prompt in front of you, just click on run as administrator. Click yes on user account control window. So once you have command prompt open, you need to run a command. Just copy the command from the description box. And as soon as you right click, it will be pasted over here. So the command is T-A-S-K-L-I-S-T, task list. And after typing the command, as soon as you press enter, it will show you all the tasks which are running on your computer at the moment. Here you will have to just go through uh, these exe files and you can find the suspicious file and just copy that file and run a second command to stop that particular task. There will be some programs. Uh, in some cases, you won't be able to close them by simply clicking close button or X button at the top right corner. And uh, you won't be able to open the task manager. So in those cases, this method will be really helpful. So uh, these exe files are uh, the programs which are at the moment running on your computer. So go through the list and find uh, that suspicious program which is creating problem on your computer and uh, write a command here which you will find in the description and that would be T-A-S-K-K-I-L-L. space forward slash f is in frank space forward slash i is in india m is in mike and then again a space and then just copy that particular file from here and as soon as you right click that file name will be pasted over here so i'll just take an example of uh, any file uh, like I'll be closing Google Drive. Sorry, I will be closing one drive. So suppose this is, uh, this is the program which is creating a problem on your computer and you are not able to close it. This is the way you can uh, close it. So just highlight it and press Ctrl and C on the keyboard that will be copied and simply right click here and that will be the name of that program will be pasted over here though this is not uh, a suspicious program I'm just uh, I'm just closing this particular app to show you how you can kill the process if you have something suspicious running in your computer so once you are done typing the command, you can press enter and you will get a notification that success the process onedrive.exe with PID has been terminated. So this is the way you can terminate or kill 
a particular process which is creating a problem or which application looks suspicious. You can also run a scan on uh, your system drive using command prompt. Suppose you want to uh, scan your computer C drive for viruses, you can simply type let us C as in Charlie and then type colon. You just need to make sure uh, which drive you want to check for viruses and which, on which drive you want to run a scan. You can click on this folder icon if you are in Windows 11 and simply click on this PC at the left hand side. So you will see the drive in your computer. So uh, I have only one drive that is local drive C which has uh, the operating system and uh, all files. So I will just run a scan on C drive to check for viruses. So type C then colon then press enter. And we are in the C drive now you need to paste a command that will be available in our description box. So just copy it from there and as soon as you right click that command will be pasted. So that would be attrib space minus h space minus s space minus r space forward slash s space forward slash d space star dot star. Once you are done typing the command simply press enter and just give it some time it will run a scan on C drive and will check for viruses. So just let it complete. Okay, so the scan has been completed. It may take time depending upon uh, the size of uh, C partition or C drive. Now, now type DIR and press, press enter, enter again. again. Go through the list again and check if there is something suspicious you find. You can get more information about that in Google. Simply copy the file name and go to Google and search about that particular file and you'll get more information. So look for any auto run programs. If there is something starting with auto run, uh, just check that particular program in Google and in case you find something suspicious simply type a command that is DEL and copy and paste the name of that particular file from here and then press enter. Just type DEL space and as soon as you right click it will paste the name simply press enter and that particular program will be deleted or that particular file will be deleted from your computer. Now another command which you can use that is msconfig you might have heard to start your computer in uh, safe mode or uh, you can perform a clean boot using msconfig you can uh, also go to services hide all microsoft services and then check for any third party service if you find something suspicious just select that and click on disable apply and okay and your computer will be restarted you can also check startup items which will be available in task manager so here you can click on open task manager And these are the items which starts when your computer starts. So you can disable uh, if you find something suspicious here also. 
So that particular program will not start when you start your computer. So I'll just close this. And if for any reason you are not able to delete that particular file, you can simply go to boot on system configuration utility, put a check in safe boot and select network and click apply and OK and your computer will restart in safe mode with networking. And you will be able to delete all those files in safe mode because uh, viruses or uh, any suspicious file, they do not run in safe mode. And once you are done deleting those files, you will have to come back to the normal mode. You will have to again go to MS config. And go to boot, uncheck that safe boot and click apply. And OK, and then computer will be restarted, which will take you back to the normal mode. So I'll just type exit to exit from command prompt and we will go back to our desktop screen. So that's all I wanted to show you in this uh, video, because in most of the cases, if you try to delete some file, you won't be able to delete that or your computer won't let you perform any action. So going to command prompt and performing the task I have shown you in this video will make your job easy. So thank you again. Please click the like button if you like the video and subscribe to my channel. You have a great day. Bye-bye.